What's going on, YouTube? Another day, man. Uh, back in the USA. Made it back um, safely, of course. Um, so I haven't been on here in a minute, man. I'm, I'm trying to like balance this deal of of recording a video and being on the road and things like that. And sometimes it get a little hard. So to all my subscribers out there, uh, I, I want to apologize. I'll try to get better at that. But um, it seems like I'm doing every you know every few days or so. But um, I just want to talk a bit, a little bit today about um, the importance of financial education. And some of you guys may find this subject as a boring topic. You know, uh, you don't want to you don't want to learn about finance or things of this nature, whatever. But guys, I'm telling you, this is one of the things that you definitely need to put some effort into because you figure you are <clears throat> what you study, or you are what you know. Um. You know, everybody's dream, if you ask anybody when it comes to finance, you know, everybody's dream is to become a millionaire. But then if you ask them, what is their plan? What is your five-year goal? What is your plan to actually do it? A lot of people can't answer that question. As I was coming back, I was talking to a stewardess. And she was telling me how, you know, she's been a reserve for about three years now. And a reserve is a person that gets, you know, their own call, like, all the time. So at any moment they can call her and say we need you to, to come down here and, and get on this flight. And she was talking about how she makes money but then she has very little left at the end. And I'm like well, wow this is a lot of Americans. A lot of Americans get a paycheck and then after they get their paycheck they um, they have very little left. So then I asked, this up, I asked the question I said so how much do you save out of your paycheck? She said well I, ver I, I don't make enough to save. And then I'm like well that's the problem right there. I said, uh, you always make enough to save. And if you, you if you really think that you don't have enough to save, either one of the two things is going on. Either your lifestyle is a little too high and you really can't afford the lifestyle that you're so-called living. So you may need to move home with mom and dad or get a roommate or whatever, even though you may not want to do it. Or you may want to get a second job in order to save. See, a lot of people say, I can't save money. So I'll give you an example. This is how you can always save money. Let's say, uh, if I said, I gave you a goal, I said, look guys, I want you to start saving $800 a month. You're like, man, I can't save $800 a month. Where am I going to get that kind of money to save $800 a month? I'm going to tell you how. I ask you a question. Can you work for $800 a month? And you're like, nah, $800 a month? That's no money. How am I going to survive? There you go. Get a job, second job, whatever, and... Only make $800 a month, make it your goal. Now you have your money to save. Get you a job where the only money you only uh, reason you're using that money is to save it. See, a lot of people never thought about that. You can always create ways to save. And think of the power of $800 a month, $9,600 a year. And if you put it to the work, you add your interest, you, you add whatever you need to, not the interest, excuse me, but you put that money to work and you um, you get things going you can make that eight hundred dollars in a month turn into a fortune so there's always things that you can do in order to save more invest and things like this another thing you guys should do start a book club I've been having a book club for about almost two years now and it's a financial book club actually tonight is the night that we're meeting we meet every Tuesday night we go through the um, through financial books and we read the chapter and we discuss it you know, there's something you always can do, and I and, and telling you right now, since I've done that, I've seen my life dramatically change because hey, you know, now I'm actually um, learning things that I can actually do to apply to my life to become financially free. So that's that's that, guys. I mean, so my my my, my advice is is to get a book uh, and throw some books out there. The Automatic Millionaire, get it. Millionaire Next Door, good book. That's, I would recommend that one, The Millionaire Next Door, because it would expose to you and it would let you know who the real millionaire is. What's another one? Oh, The Richest Man in Babylon. Great book. Um, book I'm reading now is, uh, I don't have it in front of me, but it's called The Wealthy Barber. Another good book. And that's enough right now. You don't, you don't, need, I don't need to give you everything, but read some books. Make yourself better with the books. You know, 
Learn some fun, learn what a stock is. Learn what the Dow Jones is. Learn what a Roth IRA and an individual IRA and what's the difference between the two. You know, SEP IRA. Whatever. You know, learn these things because these things are tools that you can use to build wealth. So uh, I'm going to start rambling now. That's my advice for right now. So until next time, guys, take care.